What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have two lucky envelope boxes of 2021 Panini Chronicles Basketball. These are some of the riskiest formats that exist, but there's tons of fun to open and uh, we've tried some before. It's a uh, it's different, man. High risk, high reward here. But if you guys like seeing these boxes open, want to see more stuff like this, different formats reviewed, uh, show support in these vids with a like, subscribe, especially if you're new, share, comment, ring the notification bell, and sign up for membership to get some bonus content. Help support the channel. Links down below. But yeah, so lucky envelopes. We've done Prism and Select, as well as uh, maybe one or two others, and they're different. These things are crazy. So uh, let's get into the information for this product, and after that, will be opening. So should be a pretty quick one, just uh, two cards in each one, but they're both numbered to eight. So the price for these is, it varies a lot. It's in like the few hundred to low several hundred. It really varies. These don't have such a straightforward release like, say, Hobby Chronicles. So you can kind of find them all over the place, and um, yeah, definitely less of a clear release. And then there's two cards, once again, number to eight per box, every single lucky envelope, just two cards to eight. So Chronicles being a very interesting product for this format. So these are sold in the Asia market. They always make their way, like the T-Malls uh, and Choice, over to the US market and other markets. So all the sets in Chronicles you can get in here. No autographs, just the parallels, so all the ones there. Uh, some highlights you can see on the back. So things like the base, there's the Donner's Raider Rookie, Luminance, Prism Update, Optic Traded, Crusade, and uh, Phoenix Honor, so Chrome as well as some paper ones. So they come in these little envelopes and they are fun, but risky. So let's open these boxes and see what we get. Very high risk, very high reward, and hopefully get something cool. So let's get these boxes open. One thing I don't like about the packaging is, we'll see in a second, is the pack is kind of just sitting there. So they get shaken around without shaking it too much. You kind of hear that it's just getting thrown around in there. Not the best. I wish they'd maybe put some sort of slot for the pack to sit in, but I've noticed that with a lot of lucky envelopes is that that pack is taking a beating in transit. So let's uh, see what we get. And here's our first pack here. So there we go. Empty little box. There's everything in the back. A little better look at that. And uh, yeah, so all those sets, the main sets in Chronicles you can find. Not including the retail ones, of course. So... Let's uh, see what we got. In the back we have Lomelo and Ja, some first-time All-Stars, and then Pac-Man and Cards of the IG. Definitely give it a look. A lot of good stuff going down. Post card content, hobby news, uh, preview of products, things like that. So drop a follow, and also our Discord, TikTok, Twitter, everything's like down below as well. So give it a look. A lot of great things going on. So uh, the first card we'll pull out, once again, number to eight. It has a higher chance of being a rookie because there's so many rookie sets. A lot of these are rookie heavy. Also vets, but one thing I like about that is it is... Very rookie heavy. So here's our first card, and let's see what it is. It is Killian Hayes. Okay, hopefully we save some of that Pistons luck for uh, this coming or this current class. As far as 2021 sets, there aren't too many left, but it is jersey number. It's seven of eight. Nice little silver lining there. This is Essentials. The design changed a lot for Essentials. So this is our first one, seven of eight. So two super duper short printed cards. To eight's always cool, lucky number eight. And uh, yeah, what do you guys think? So you get that kind of pattern there, that choice or kind of um, envelope pattern we see a lot. So that's the one to expect on a lot of these. Yeah, what do you guys think? So overall, I like him's cool card, Killian Hayes. We'll see what he does. And um, yeah, Pistons, young team there. So here's card number two. Hopefully a chrome one. Who knows? All right. Three, two, one. Poku. I like this one a lot. Eight of eight. Poku Luminance. Luminance is... In my opinion, one of the best looking sets. And you can barely see that back design on the Poku compared to the Killian there. But it is there. And the name, the foil, really pops really nice. So 8 of 8 Poku. and High potential guy, we'll see. Certainly a fan favorite. I like Poku. Root for him. Pokushevsky, Thunder, one of their many young guys or assets they have. So here we are. Nice card. All right. So that was our first one. And that's one box. So it's pretty expensive few to low several hundred dollars, two cards to eight, and uh, you're risking it for the biscuit there. So there's our first one, and then vote down below in the comments which one you think won at the end, so we'll do a little face-off. This is box number one, and then here's number two. And before we get into box number two, I want to give a thanks to my partners over at Whatnot. They help make all the content we do here possible, so all the openings, giveaways, things like that. So here's a quick message from them. Whatnot is a new way to shop with live auctions 24-7 and a community rooting each other on in real time. Whatever you're looking for, whether it's cheap packs, rare boxes, high-end cards, brand new product releases, or box breaks, Whatnot is the fastest way to find, buy, and break cards live. Download the app today. Definitely give them a look. Use my referral link down below to download their app and get $10 in free credit, free cards. Why not? 
and uh, we have a lot more stuff coming in content. So thanks to them. A lot of great things going on in the future. Stay tuned. And that being said, let's get into box number two here. So first one down, not too bad. And hopefully we have maybe a Lamello or Amp. We were saying that we're going to see a lot more Lamello probably in 21-22, where we pulled almost none in 2021. I already pulled a few Lamellos in this new class, so it would be your two Lamello. All right, let's see what we have in this one here. Hopefully a chrome one. That's the one I really want to take a look at. All right, here we go. One little pack. A little apple pie box right here. Put this to the right. So this is team one. This is team two. All right, let's see what we got. Got to be very careful opening these packs because there's only two cards. So it's not very sturdy. You don't want to bend these things accidentally. There we go. All right. So here's card number one. Hopefully it's uh, something cool. Three, two, one. So we have a chrome one. Peyton Pritchard. Honors. We got a uh, four of eight. I love seeing that serial numbering. So one thing about Chronicles is, say retail, even say hobby, you get tons and tons of cards. Most of them not numbered. Hobby, you do get some numbered, but so say 149, 99, 49. Getting super short prints like this, you could open multiple hobby boxes and not get one. Uh, to 10 or less or 25 or less, something like that. And retail, you'll very rarely see number cards. So would you rather have many retail boxes or one of these, or maybe a hobby box, or one of these? So Pritchard, all right, once upon a time, dropped like 92 points. Not an NBA game, but it counts for something. All right, and here's our, here's our next card, last one. Let's see what it is, and then drop your votes. Three, two, one. All right, I like that. Patrick Williams, eight of eight. Very, very nice. All right, that's a nice one to get. Not too bad overall. Very nice. I like Patrick Williams. Get well soon. I'm very, very high on him. So uh, these look really cool. So got that pattern in the back that we've seen uh, once again, and it really pops on this card. So let's sleeve it up. And interesting time. Vote down below. Which one was better? Got the Patrick Williams. Got one Chrome card. It was this one here. So this one have the hyper pattern, and they just kind of use the pattern. I don't know why, but they do. And vote down below. What do you guys think? So my rating for this product on a scale from one to 10, I'm gonna give this a seven. There is a lot of rookie cards and um, or at least rookies in the set you can get. So let's say we got four rookies. You can get vets of course, but the odds point towards rookies more, which is awesome. Say Prism Select, uh, you might not get all rookies, maybe one and one or maybe just two vets, you never know. So uh, getting the rookies is awesome. The only one knock is that the Secondary value of some of these cards won't be as high as you might see other cards they go for. Um, but that being said, they still do have some solid value. So I'll say seven, a lot of uh, good stuff. The four is pretty decent. And then maybe you get Mellow or Ant. Those guys go for a lot. But some of these might not go for the same as like a gold from Hobby or something like that. So really uh, cool stuff, though. Getting something at eight is awesome. And if any of these players are really good, and they certainly have the chance to be, then we are looking good. So that was for this one. Very, very interesting set. If you want to see more of these lucky envelopes, let me know. There's other ones that are out for like every product pretty much, and uh, we can try some more. So drop your uh, thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this one? And then vote for box one or box two. But that does it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.